against Chalky Milkman, and I actually think that's a matchup that could easily go in favor of Chalky Milkman. So if Wildcard Gaming could do it right here, right now, they could just send Method Black completely out of this tournament. Uh, potentially, we'll have to see if that does end up happening. Wildcard Gaming has selected Windwalker Elemental Shaman Restoration Druid up against the Rogue Mage Druid of Method Black, and we'll have to see what they can get done. I think last time it ended up being an Ellie Windwalker Mirror um, with Looney on Mistweaver, so this time Looney actually opted for Druid. And I think they were expecting a mirror. This Ellie Windwalker can kind of walk the line between being able to beat pretty much every comp while also not having an advantage at the same time, so it's pretty evenly matched. But against the Rogue Mage, perhaps not, and that's why Method Black anticipated this instead of running the Windwalker Ellie themselves. They have good pressure on Z-Pi, but now it looks like Wildcard Gaming are counter-engaging with crowd control into three members. No one can really help Waz in this position. Down to about half off the back end of that first hit, but now recovered from Chaz. Method Black look to engage. Crowd control into three members. They're switching to Looney. z is trying to protect him. He used his Geyer's Medallion and Grounding Totem to prevent himself from being interrupted to Hex Raikou during the attack on Looney, which allowed Looney to survive. But Method Black, again, I, I feel like they're just a step above in terms of their Rogue Mage play. I would more than love to see the Chalky Milkmen mirror them on Rogue Mage Druid because I feel like Method Black, the one thing is that they can play to a game plan and then immediately on a dime change to a totally different game plan, even three steps ahead. We usually anticipate the Elemental Shaman as the target in this matchup. And so they know that Looney anticipates that and then actually go after Looney instead, putting him behind on defensive cooldowns and potentially creating openings later on if they continue to mix it up. Yeah, Looney playing aggressive with the Feral Affinity right now, but it's Z-Buy that is the one in trouble. And this is the thing, Method Black, their composition really specializes in just locking down Z-Buy. This full blind on the Looney. He trinkets out immediately. He doesn't want to fall behind in this matchup. Touch of Death gets committed by Blizzo. Jazz throws out the Iron Bark and then tries to sit down for a drink, but Luna's going to be able to shut that down. And potentially we see Wildcard Gaming get a mana advantage in this matchup so far. They have a little bit of a lead. If Looney can stay on point and keep shutting down Chaz during these drink opportunities, maybe Wildcard Gaming can actually win this matchup. Well, right there, he not only shut down the drink, but also got Glider's Medallion from Chaz with a Cyclone, which could have also been an Ice Blocker at the end of the game. So Chaz certainly needs to be careful if that situation happens again. But in the meantime, Method Black execute crowd control and look for the kill onto z -Pi. Zpi with Ring of Peace is protecting him for now, but Waz Shadow steps over and reconnects. Looney's trying to pick him up without using Iron Bark as there is no stun committed, but it is quite difficult to heal through the pressure that Waz is dishing out without its defense. Will he get away without committing the Iron Bark is the question now as Method Black continue pushing forward. Wildcard Gaming look like they're mixing up some of their damage. z is lobbing out a few Lava Bursts onto Chaz with an Earth Shock, forcing Chaz away. He's going to respect that damage, but that means that he can't Cyclone either. Looney gets switched to by Method the black is both teams keep each other on each other's toes. Yep. Raikou forced in a very defensive position as Chaz manages to sneak away and get a drink. He recovered all of his mana and could potentially top off Raikou with that Iron Bark. Gladiator Safeguard does proc out the defensive trinket that Raikou was opting to run. Keeps him alive and forces basically Chaz to top him big off. Hit. A big swap over onto Waz. He trinkets out of the Lightning Lasso with the Cloak of Shadows. And these are the opportunities z can shut out. He's dragging Waz out of line of sight. He gets, catches him in a Lightning Lasso. Blizzle can get there for any sort of damage. They could take him down quite quickly. And now without a trinket, Waz is actually very vulnerable. Yeah, Waz needs to be careful. Again, punishing the positioning of the melee DPS. Waz overextended into wild card gaming territory. And he was punished for that overextension. His entire defensive lineup to stay alive was blown out. So if he makes that mistake again, it's going to be lights out. Goodbye, Waz. But in the meantime, Method Black are all backing Waz up to push forward for an attack. Pressure on two fronts with both Looney and z Pi in a bit of trouble. I'm curious what the mana situation is. Chaz looks like he's trying to drink, so it's potentially even at this point. Will Chaz regenerate mana? Looney goes into cat form instead, adding a bit of extra damage. I don't anticipate that Looney is running the Feral Affinity in this matchup. I feel like he would be too easy to kill, but he actually may be running the Feral Affinity. This is why Method Black targeted him in the first place. Chaz is drank back to full mana, setting his team up well for dampening. Touch of Death is available. They're going to go for the Lightning Lasso kill on Waz. If Looney can crowd control Chaz, it could be the end of the game. They might not even need it. Looney moves in to add a bit of extra damage. What was that heal? A gigantic Swiftman, the biggest Swiftman I've ever seen saves Waz at what would have otherwise been the end of the match for him. Yeah, Looney and a kidney shot. He's got his trinket, but no bark skin. Can he hold on to that precious trinket? 
Waz gets a grapple weapon there by Blizzo. Good backup, and that's a talent we see Blizzo pick up quite frequently to defend his healer from these melee DPS. The grapple weapon, of course, is a six second disarm he can use onto Waz during those kidney shots. It's very effective against the assassination rogue if you can consistently get it off during those moments of opportunity. Waz in a lightning lasso once again, but without crowd control on Chaz, I feel like he's easily able to heal through it. Yeah, Chaz is doing a good job keeping the team going here. Another swap onto Looney, another attempt at the healer's life. How will they save Looney? No grounding totem, no wind shears, no off heals. Looney dips very low as a result of a lack of support. Blizzo interrupts Raikou, at least stalling down Raikou's pressure, but Waz is still right on top of both of them. I do like the two-pronged attack here from Method Black, pulling multiple cooldowns at every attempt and every swing and developing a mana lead and keeping Wildcard Gaming pinned at the pillar so that Chaz can always be comfortable to sit down for a drink while crowd controlling Blizzo at the same time. Method Black have certainly kept their Rogue Mage skills polished despite that first spring season where I don't even think they played Rogue Mage once. And it is quite a treat to see them back on this composition that all three players are known for. They've been playing it for years at this point in tournament play. Looney tries to jump across midfield to stop Chaz from drinking. Waz is there to clothesline him. Now Looney has to make a decision. Does he keep pushing forward to stop the drink and potentially risk his own life or pull back and let Chaz drink to full? And this is Method Black that continued to hold wildcard gaming in a mana chokehold. Yeah, Raku doing some good damage over on the z He's trying to get out of line of sight, and this is the thing. When Method Black can stall the game out for a long period of time, the Assassination Rogue damage really pays off on the z on that Elemental Shaman. It's really difficult for him to get away. This is a big attempt here. Cheap shot on Looney. Nice vanish by Waz. Does manage to get the growth silence on the z as well. A lot of cleave damage coming in from Raikou, but he has to be careful. Big Earth shot coming in with the big Fist of Fury from Blizzo. Forces Raikou to retreat just a little bit and play defensive. Chaz does manage to top him off, but unfortunately for Looney, he hasn't had that same uh, opportunity on the z as he falls down lower and lower. Trinket gets committed, grounding totem as well. z trying to get out of line of sight. Finally, Looney can connect some heals, but he doesn't have much mana. Nice attempt over onto Waz, but he manages to survive with that Trinket. He still has the Cloak of Shadow as a safety net and he can continue this offensive push on his Epi. Yeah, Method Black have more defense. They're going to be able to be playing in the faces of wildcard gaming. Blizzo has to be on point here to try and counter pressure Waz, but he's polymorph. Triple ring of frost. All three members unable to assist. What is Blizzo going to do with this opening? I would love to see him actually go after Waz. Why did he go after Raikou? Raikou with two more ice blocks. Waz with no evasion. It seems at least to me, obviously, I can see everything going on at the same time, but Waz is certainly the target here for the big push on Touch of Death. Maybe the leg sweep was just a bait from Blizzo to try and get some defense from Chaz. Waz is in trouble. He's on the run, and potentially Method Black's Rogue Mage is going to be taken down here in game number one. Waz barely holds on on 10% and then immediately re-engages. z knocks him aside with the Thunderstorm, but then gets Cycloned at low health on Iron Bark's defense and innervates free healing on Looney. This Cyclone is beautiful from Chaz. It could potentially be game-winning two seconds away from z Astral shift but if he has to use it before vendetta then it's gg when vendetta comes up so zipai needs to try and hold on to that as long as possible blizzo's ring of peace is zoning was he can't connect and allowing zipai to buy time to make it to that point stormkeeper available for zipai his next time he decides to cast stormkeeper his lightning bolts will be enhanced he's going to cast it now his lightning bolts are going to be very big who is he going to go after Looks like he's stunned up and not after able to go after anyone. Druid's mana is even at this point, but z is in trouble. Blizzo's polyed. Looney is not crowd controlled. They dropped the chain a bit there. Good denial, but again, another Cyclone at low health from Chaz. If Method Black can hold on a tad bit longer, z is going to go down. Vendetta and 30. But if they kill uh -oh. Waz before that Vendetta, then obviously Method Black are going to lose. It's anyone's match. And in the blind pick between oh, teams of this caliber, sad. you need to win the blind pick. Perfect crowd control once again. And as a result, an easy kill on z -Pi. Method Black take the blind pick. It's the best teams in the world <laughs> or the best teams in Europe. But Method Black here, 1-0 up against Wildcard Gaming, looking to once again assert dominance. I guess we're kind of being perfectionists here, but I feel like they're also highly critical of their own plays. That's why they see so much success is because they always go back to the drawing board and always work on grinding further. They're never complacent. And that's definitely cost teams points in tournaments in the past. I feel like Method Orange were pretty complacent after their BlizzCon victory, and they kind of had to snap back 
into it to start competing for summer, which they have, which I'm glad to see. But you have to be careful when you're always at the top that you don't become complacent and let your skills slide. You always need to be advancing, even if you're number one. Doesn't mean that you're better than your past self. You always need to be pushing forward and further beyond where your capabilities lie. Otherwise, people will catch up to you. Yeah, I mean, I think that's really fair. You can see Raikou, he's actually using Shadow Meld, so he used the invisibility, didn't summon his Water Elemental, and is now just using Shadow Meld. I think Method Black, they realize they can just kind of stall it out. They can wait for dampening, potentially, if they want to. And at that point of the game, they start developing a lead. We talked about the Assassination Rogue versus the Elemental Shaman. Later on in the game, that is where you have your advantage. It's much more difficult for Luna to heal through that damage. With the Ghost Wolf as well, your healing is going to be limited with the effects of dampening. So we'll just have to see how long Method Black decides to stall it out. They have no idea where Raikou is because of the sh Night oh. Elf Racial Shell. Oh, actually comes out right now. I think they're stalling also because... Chaz is not likely to be able to drink on this map, so the more time they can spend not spending mana before dampening, the better. Uh, Wildcard Gaming, perhaps they could have even gone for a hook point or something. I feel like Elemental Windwalker generates more pressure overall and would run Chaz out of mana faster than Rogue Mage will run Looney. I think that's likely where they're looking to get their win condition while focusing on Waz if he overextends chasing down z -Pi. Potentially we see Method Black adapt their strategy to go after Blizzo and try and react to that play here on Dalaran. They might be forced to do it, depending on the positioning of Looney and z -Pi, because currently z -Pi and Looney, they're tag teaming at the boxes. They're able to line a sight, they're able to counter engage, and they're attacking Waz, and Waz is so overextended. So instead of overextending, Waz could just decide to attack Blizzo. Touch of Death is rolling at the moment, explodes on Waz, Ironbark denies its damage, Blizzo switches targets, he doesn't want to attack into Ironbark and have his damage reduced. He jumps downstairs to avoid being Cyclone, then portals back to the pillar to support z -Pi with Waz chasing him down. Blizzo doing a good job to avoid crowd control so far, that is his main objective, is to get uptime and avoid Cyclone and avoid Polymorph, and he's doing a great job so far. Yeah, z -Pi putting up big burst damage onto Raikou with the Lightning Lasso. Nice vortex on the shimmer of Raikou as well. Nicely done by Looney. He triggered it out of the blind just a little bit earlier on. Full kitty shot now committed onto Zipai. Looney backs him up with the cyclone onto Waz, slowing down that attempt for Method Black. But Chaz, he's sitting. Look at him far away in stealth, sipping on that water, recovering his mana. Waz might have to trade up Coco Shadows. Gladiator safeguard. Faint going to be enough to keep him from using any major defensive cooldowns at this point in the game. But Method Black, with the way they're playing it, it's very calculated. Chaz making sure he's high on mana, and they're trying to secure that late game advantage. Blizzo is doing a great job on point here. There's really no pressure on him in terms of damage. So he, he is the one that needs to build momentum and avoid crowd control to be able to uh, build that momentum. He's doing a good job of hitting Raikou, and as soon as Raikou is in a position where he's overextending Blizzo, Blizzo then portals back to the pillar or rolls back to the pillar to avoid being crowd controlled. Then when Raikou comes close to the boxes, Blizzo switches targets again, and he's ping-ponging between the rogue and the mage. And this is a great strategy to run a druid out of mana and also just get better uptime because Blizzo can get damage on the mage when he's close, like right now, and then as soon as Raikou moves away from the boxes, he can get damage on the rogue, and Blizzo will have 100% uptime. Time. Although it's not on the same target, it is at least on one target. z in a bit of trouble, though. Method Black are beginning to overwhelm him. They're just combing over the boxes, pushing him over. There's no defense if they can stay on target. z is on the run. Needs to stay alive for 17 more seconds. That 17 seconds is going to be an eternity right now for Wildcard Gaming if Method Black can stay on pace. Blizzo has polymorphed away. Looney gets stunned. z in a kidney shot. Seven seconds away, but in the Cyclone, unable to do it. They need to strip off that Ghost Wolf as soon as possible. Zipa actually decides to cancel it to put a grounding totem down to stop the crowd control, but now he lost some healing. It did buy him time to get Iron Bark, so Zipai's denial of the crowd control allowed Looney to use Iron Bark, and that is keeping Zipai alive. However, he likely needs to keep running away at this point in time. Waz is all over him. Yeah, Waz, the beautiful interrupt over on the Looney. That allows Zipai, though, a little bit of free reign to get some heals off. Full blind on Looney. He trinkets out into a full bash at the same time. Zipai gets caught into a kidney shot. Wildcard Gaming still not out of it yet. Looney has 15 seconds left on the Iron Bark. But it looks like Zipai is kind of stabilizing at this point. Grapple weapon coming in from Blizzo onto Waz, and that buys him enough time to survive. That was a really nice attempt there by Method Black, but the off heals coming in from Zipai. Looney with the Restoration Druid, they're able to recover. They can stabilize as we step foot into dampening. This composition from Wildcard Gaming is surprising. It's actually appearing to be decently effective here against Rogue Mage Druid, and it could also be an 
on an edge against the other compositions that Method Black have available. This could be the well-rounded roster composition that Wildcard Gaming need if they can polish it up. They managed to stay alive during a situation that any other team would have gone down in. That was an extended period of time with no defense. Raikou being bursted. Chaz was trying to drink, but if they can get an ice block for the drink, it's at least a fair trade. They need to get an ice block on this or a kill. Wow. Oh, ice blocking on 1% health. Close call for Raikou, but trades the cooldown. Now they switch to Waz. He's getting blasted. He's stunned up. He can't use Cloak of Shadows for a little bit longer. He evasions, surprisingly not using Cloak of Shadows as well. Looney gets caught in a polymorph by Raikou. Clutch plays on both sides. Yep, kidney shot on z with a polymorph over on the Looney. z could be in some trouble. What a close call that was on Raikou earlier, but ultimately it's Method Black that will end up securing the kill. A nice setup, and they go up in the series 2-0. to zero. The question for your Warlock debut. Looney, of course, and z they're going to be the perfect teammates for them uh, to help out Morrow in this particular matchup, but this is going to be difficult. Morrow, he's going to have to perform if they want any chance of beating a rogue mage druid as high a caliber as Method Black. Often you critique that there's not many mages that also play warlocks, and there's not many warlocks that also play mages. For some reason, just those two classes don't mix together. It's like putting oil and water together, just not going to work out. Looney blinded early, z the target. Again, interesting that they're focusing the Elemental Shaman. I wonder if Looney is going to be able to be as aggressive as Drainer was, because Method Black, I will say, don't play anywhere near to the same as Diabolus. I think that they can also play hyper-aggressive, and if you play hyper-aggressive against the Feral Affinity Resto Druid, then they're not going to be able to just toddle around like we saw Drainer able to do against Diabolus. So Looney will also be under a lot of pressure because he needs that Feral Affinity damage, but if Method Black flip the ag aggro switch and start going in and pushing forward, then he could easily be punished for even one mistake. Yeah, z under fire in this matchup. Looney is already trinketed as well as traded out his Iron Bark, so z could be vulnerable during this next attempt. Wazi still has the Vendetta. It's a good answer, though, for z with that Astral Shift. So standard cooldown trading so far in this matchup. This smaller map is going to make it difficult for Taz to really escape and drink. A nice attempt here over onto Waz. He gets bursted down. Iron Bark is enough to deflect that kill opportunity from Wildcard Gaming, but now Method Black, they're looking to strike back. Bash over on the Looney. Is there any follow-up crowd control? Raikou gets denied with the Mortal Coil, and that's the one thing Morrow kind of has going for him in this matchup, as he also plays Mage at a very high level. So on that Warlock, he knows exactly how Raikou wants to set up, and he can look to deny that just because he has as much experience as Raikou does playing Mage. And I think so far I find it a bit peculiar is that he's used Dark Soul before Infernals. Maybe he was trying to bait a cooldown and save Infernals to peel, like such as this situation, stunning two members of Method Black into a Shadow Fury. Good shutdown on Maro's part here to protect Looney on the swap. Raikou now feeling the pain of a Lightning Lasso. Chaz is in a bash. Raikou's on the run, but Looney was playing aggressive looking for crowd control, so he wasn't healing himself, and he was still kind of low on health. Now finally stabilized. Waz is overextended. He's taken two beefy lightning bolts from z -Pi. Looney is smacking him. He may need to be careful. Looney gets swapped to and set up on again by Method Black. So Method Black going for the similar strategy as Diabolus, trying to attack the Feral Affinity Druids. Now if they do this, they need to make sure they're crowd controlling the Elemental and the Warlock. If they leave the Elemental Shaman and the Warlock open for too long, they're almost definitely going to get overwhelmed. Looney making a bit of a mistake, walking over and getting cycloned. z -Pi's at low health. Morrow fears Waz to protect z -Pi. Looney immediately running back to stun Waz out of the Lightning Lasso. This could be devastating for Waz. Big Urshock hit here. Down below 50% health. No Iron Bark for 14 seconds. Waz stuns z -Pi, pausing the fight for now. z -Pi is reluctant to trink it out of this. He wants to make sure he has that to stay alive and trade cooldowns later on, but maybe he could have potentially netted a kill if he had a bit of damage. Maro is trying to bounce between stopping Chaz from drinking and also doing damage at the same time, and so far it hasn't really found an effective way to balance the two. Now polymorphed out in midfield, likely for an extended period of time. Chaz tries to jump across, but Maro catches him with a fear. Now casting Chaos Bolt, but denied by Waz. Good reaction, knowing that Nether Ward would have otherwise made Maro immune to Counterspell or Polymorph. Now Method Black pull away. They see Dark Soul activated. They just want to avoid Morrow while that cooldown is active. As soon as it's over, we likely see them push forward again. Looney's tearing in, doing some extra damage onto Waz. Significant mana advantage for Wildcard Gaming, and I like the map selection on their part, realizing that they're going to run 
Rogue Mage Druid out of mana faster with consistent pressure. Hook Point is the best map to stop a healer from drinking on. So this is good. Ex so far, it's solid strategy, and I would say good execution overall from Wildcard Gaming, and there is potential for them with this composition. Yeah, Zipai into a kitty shot. Good pressure here for Method Black. Luna's going to have to play catch up. He's got the Innervate, so all of his heals are free of charge at this point. Not going to be costing any mana. He goes for the Tranquility. Good usage. Zipai gets topped off. Waz and Rankly, they still have all their offensive cooldowns available when they want to decide to get a little bit aggressive. You look at mana. Chaz is way behind at this point of the game. He activates the Innervate, try to get some heals rolling, but on the smaller map, it's so unlikely he's going to be able to actually sneak away and recover his uh, mana via drinking. So I have to see exactly what windows of opportunity Method Black can really create for Chaz to recover his mana because that is exactly what this matchup could come down to. All right, let's see what they can do. Chaz needs a drink. He's thirsty. He's so low on mana. Wildcard Gaming, do they stop him? Maros Polymorph, he can't. Chaz is in the back line. Looney jumps into counter pressure, but I think they're letting Chaz get away with drinking. He's going to be coming back into the fight with full mana right as dampening started. And that advantage and the strategy that Wildcard Gaming were looking to employ is totally blown out now that Chaz comes back into the fight with full mana. Yeah, Chaz with full mana. That was the moment of opportunity Method Black really needed. Now at 2% dampening, it's basically perfect timing for Method Black. Zipai still under fire, and as we said, later on in the game, the Assassination Rogue, they're so powerful against the Elemental Shaman. Zipai's going to have to try to find some moments to get aggressive, but I just don't know if he's going to be able to do it. Infernals get dropped out by Maro. He's going to be looking for solo pressure at this point, trying to counter pressure Method Black just a little bit, forcing them off Zipai, but at this point, Method Black, they're all over him. A nice Cyclone lands by Chaz, denying any heals coming in from Looney. Do they have any follow-up crowd control? Icy Banes gets used by Raikou. Method Black looking to close out the game. Silence on Zipai into a full stun. Stun on the Looney. Good cross crowd control. Zipai, he has to trink it out to escape. Raikou just doing way too much damage with that Icy Veins. He's trying to run, get across the map. Good fears coming in from Maro to help deny the silence on Looney. Zipai barely holding on. He gets interrupted. Gateways away back to the pillar. And I think he bought himself enough time for Looney to finally play catch up. That was a really nice attempt by Method Black, but unfortunately just lacking a little bit of damage. Good positioning from Zipai using that Tamana gateway as soon as he was interrupted baiting the counter spell so that Looney could save him later on. Really good positioning there in a dire situation. Definitely not panicking, showing that veteran experience on wildcard gaming. This composition, the substitution in for Morrow, having seen the success that Zizon had with it against Rogue Mage. Now wildcard gaming looking to employ it for their own here against Method Black. They looked solid earlier on, but a drink from Chaz has totally put Method Black back into the game. And, I mean, it's still a significant advantage over Looney, who is actually now behind. Raikou setting up for some damage out of the Cyclone, casting Frost Bolts, building up Icicles, Trinkets to get Ring of Frost out of the cheap shot that was set up for him. Chaz is in position. He gets Spell Lock out of the way while Looney is crowd-controlled, so now he should be able to Cyclone. Mortal Quilt, Maro is stalling it long enough, but Zipai is far away. Looney gates to get in line of sight, but it may be too little too late. Walks into a blind, gets silenced on the Trinket. Just a tad bit more crowd control and damage, and Zipai will fall. Activates the Fire Blood, removes some of the damage over time effects onto himself, and manages to sneak around the corner and stay alive. Yeah, Zipai cheats death once again, but how many times can he pull that off in a game? It's going to become more and more difficult as Dampening gets higher and higher. Wildcard gaming a few miracles in their favor in order for Zipai to survive. Method Black gets a kidney shot. Another attempt. Looney's got no trinket. He's in a full cycle. Zipai, what are you going to do? Waz is all over you. Raikou, if he can get in line of sight, he can add that little bit of extra damage that they need, but unfortunately unable to find it. Iron Bark fades from Zipai. Looney doesn't have many tools left to keep him alive. Light Lightning Lasso onto Waz. Waz gets out. A nice Cyclone coming in from Chaz. This denies the heals from Looney and also allows Raikou Waz to start setting up some crowd control. There's a full kitty shot on Zipai. Chaz moves forward. What does he get? The rake's done. Over on the Looney. Is there any follow-up from Raikou? Doesn't look like it just yet. Zipai might be able to hold on. It's a little bit longer. Maru doing everything he can. Desperately trying to land Fears. Trying to land Chaos Bolt. Trying to set his team up for success. But nothing black. I mean, at this point, they're actually falling apart a little bit. That was a very long offensive push over on the Z-Pi. Maybe Maro has done it. Maybe he's forced Metal Black just a little bit defensive at this point in the game. Infernals are up for Maro. He can activate those at any moment and could close the game out. Waz has no Glyre's Medallion, so Lightning Lasso plus Infernals. It's KO for Waz, and Wildcard Gaming will stay alive in the upper bracket, but Method Black can change their composition, and I'm sure that they have more than enough answers for the Elemental Shaman Warlock if the Rogue Mage ends up not working out, but it still seems pretty evenly matched in terms of compositions. Waz leads the charge. 
Morrow's got Infernals rolling. He could set up for a big kill. Well, they should maybe even try and kill Chaz. He's feared into midfield. Maybe an opportunity to switch to him. I don't think they're going to take it. They're focused more on just staying alive. Mortal Coil onto Waz and Raikou. Waz being pressured away. That feral affinity of Looney really adding into the mix. Three targets are low on health. This is where the Warlock Shaman Druid starts to shine. Ice block netted from Raikou. One defensive objective out of the way. Finally, momentum for Wildcard Gaming. Chaz is bashed. Looney saves Zipai during the kidney shot. Icy veins for Raikou. His damage is in hand. Zipai with no defense in just a few seconds, but Raikou is just taking it at the moment. Any Chaos Bolt connects here. It could be a kill if Raikou is still in hypothermia. He's retreating back around the corner. Defensive Ring of Frost also catching on to Looney. That's going to be Astral Shift from Zipai, but potentially Method Black are going to take it here. That Astral Shift is going to be fading. They sap out of the Ring of Frost. Beautifully timed here by Waz. Morrow's in a poly. It's three oh, on one. It. And that is Perfection, Method Black. Perfection. Yeah, really well played by Method. Feed versus the fake Zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.